Welcome to the France 24 Observers. This show is based on our network of observers. You know the drill now. They're ordinary people who tell us what's going on where they are and send in photos and videos to document it. We check it all here in Paris and bring the best to you. Our first observer is one of the rare amateurs who's been able to film the oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico. He's seen it firsthand and he's angry. And he reminds us what the B in BP stands for, British. He's in Lafitte, Louisiana, and his name is John Wathan. With an airplane, there are no trespass laws. So we take the airplanes and fly over at the lowest possible altitude. At 28 miles out, we were seeing heavy, heavy bands of crude oil. I tried to prepare for it, but I couldn't. I was not prepared for what I saw. A lot of people don't understand this is not just an environmental issue. It's a human issue. When you introduce pollutants into a, a, a watershed, people think about the fish, the birds, the, the plankton, the things that grow in the water, but there's also people that depend on the things that grow in that water. Here in Barataria, where I am now, I'm in Lafitte, Louisiana. So far, the oil hasn't reached their homes here. It, it's in the outer marshes. All of the fisheries that are what the people here call out front are closed. They can shrimp inside some of the isolated lakes that are around here, but they can't go out front where the, the, the biggest portion of their catch is because it's contaminated. BP has not been forthcoming with any information and that in itself, that lack of information is the biggest fear factor here. I think it would be a crying shame and an atrocity to ask people who live in this town to move because a British company came in and decided that their profit was worth more than the quality of life for the people living in these bayous. Tell you something else about history. It has a way of coming back to bite you in the butt and British Petroleum is going to get bit real hard over this before it's over with because the American people are outraged. Our next observer is a professional journalist. He's in our show because he happened to witness something while he was in a bar having a drink. We go to Marseille in the south of France with Romain Luongo and his iPhone. I was in a bar when I heard this huge explosion. I went outside to see what was going on. I put my iPhone on video and recorded the whole thing. The first thing they did was block the armoured car with a truck. They put one truck in front, another behind it. Then one of the robbers put a kind of explosive frame on the door to blow it open. Then they began taking out the sacks of money and carrying them to their car, which was parked further up the street. And then a van of CRS riot police showed up. They were on patrol in the area, and the robbers opened fire on them. The CRS fired back, of course. The robbers were using Kalashnikov assault rifles. I guess I could have been hit by a stray bullet. We end the show today in Israel with a story that doesn't get much coverage outside the country, illegal immigration. A group of migrants recently took to the streets to fight for the rights of their children. Our last stop is in Tel Aviv, with Vincent, an immigrant from Nigeria. I'm a father of three children, two boys and one girl. And recently, the Minister of Interior and the government of Israel decided that uh, they want to evict all the children born in Israel back to their parents' countries. So we have been having a series of protests and demonstrations uh, against the decision of the government. On the banners, there are a series of write-ups, which some of them states that you should not deport us or evict us from Israel. Some of the banners also read, we love Israel and this is our home. And even when I tell my daughter that we will be going back, like from, I'm from Nigeria, when I tell her, listen, we have a country that is called Nigeria, she, told me, she tells me, I don't know what you're talking about. Israel is my country. That's it for this week. As always, you can find more reports on our website and find out how you can sign up to be an observer. See you next time.